Life on Earth would not be possible without the oxygen and fresh water generated in places like the Amazon rainforest. But the Amazon is being destroyed by the oil industry for short-term economic gain, threatening the existence of the plants, animals, and people who live in the rainforest. Ecuador is not going to get out of poverty just because they come and drill for oil in the Amazon. Ecuador is going to lose the only rainforest that we have left. It's going to destroy cultures and the environment, kill animals. That's not getting out of poverty. The people who live in the Amazon rainforest are doing everything they can to stop the expansion of the oil frontier. But local governments are supporting the oil companies under the false impression that drilling for oil will get them out of poverty. If you look at those places where they are drilling oil, those are the regions most people living with terrible health conditions and no education. Those are the regions that are most poor. thought that they could come here and exploit oil and then just wash their hands and they would move on. But that did not happen. We're a pain in the ass for the government right now. <laughs> and that makes me hopeful. That makes me know that we can get further. You cannot justify human rights abuses with the economical arguments. We are also human beings, just as anyone else, and we have the same rights as anyone else to choose our way of life and to have that choice respected. This is not just a local issue. This is a global issue. If oil companies are allowed to destroy the Amazon, it would permanently change the climate in both South America and North America. This will have devastating consequences for the entire world. The cycle of weather has changed here. When it should rain, it doesn't rain. And when it shouldn't rain, it rains. There is a whole system in the forest. It's not just, oh, there are animals living there. It's a whole world, how they interact, how they live, what they eat, where they move. I remember my grandfather saying once that it is from the Amazon that the breath of the world comes. Because without the Amazon, the world would not the International Energy Agency has said that if we want to keep global temperatures from increasing, at least half of the world's oil and coal supply should stay in the ground. If something isn't done soon, the world's temperature could permanently increase by 8 degrees, a critical level at which the global ecosystem would move towards an unstoppable collapse. But it's not too late to change this. Citizens from all over the world must come together and urge political leaders to keep the oil in the ground. Go to AmazonWatch.org to learn how you can help protect the Amazon rainforest and share this video with anyone you know who likes to breathe fresh air. Together we can let our voices be heard and keep our world beautiful. Thank you.